One of the best parts about having a motorcycle is planning that ultimate motorcycle road trip. I know when I first got my motorcycle back in 2017, that was like one of my dreams. I even wanted to like live off of the motorcycle. I would fantasize about packing the bike up and just riding to Mexico or something and just living off the bike. I soon realized how unrealistic that was, but I do really enjoy hitting the road, taking a 500 to a thousand mile road trip in a day. And I've done a few of those types of rides and for the past several years, uh, friends and I have been taking an annual road trip. We've gone to places like Death Valley, Yosemite, Lake Tahoe, Sedona, Arizona. And I wanna start sharing some tips. Now that I've gotten some big trips under my belt, I feel like there's things that I've learned that I can share with you that might help you out in planning your next road trip. In this video, I'm gonna focus on packing. I think packing is probably one of the things that takes a lot of planning because, you know, unlike a car, you're limited with what you can bring. And you have to consider things like luggage and what type of bags you're gonna get and what's gonna work for your setup, you know. I'm on a cruiser, so I have a lot of options as far as bags go. So the first tip I'd have is less is more. You just wanna think about the essentials that you need to bring. And the first thing that comes to mind when I'm packing for a trip is like, what's the weather going to be like? Because on a motorcycle, the weather conditions can, you know, change like that. And, you know, one minute it's sunny and nice, you're wearing a t-shirt. And then the next minute... Oh, that shit's cold. Oh my god, it's cold now. <laughs> oh, mistakes were made. Investing in some high quality gear where, you know, there's multiple layers that you can zip on and off will help. There's a lot of adventure jackets that are designed like that. Or just bring in layers to take on and off will help you drastically when traveling on a motorcycle. You know, you want to be comfortable when you're riding. You don't want to be worried about freezing the entire time. So the first thing I start packing is stuff for the weather. Um, so if it's raining, I'm going to bring a rain suit just in case. Space is limited, especially if you're traveling with the partner, things fill up quickly. So if there's like a 10% chance of rain, you might think like, all right, I'm gonna leave this. You have to calculate your decisions and you know, make an educated decision based on all your research. Like for example, like things that you might not think of that do end up taking space, you might have to bring a tinted windshield one for the daytime when it's sunny and then a clear windshield for when it's nighttime. I tend to bring two pairs of gloves, you know, my warm weather normal gloves as well as weatherproof thicker pair of gloves in case it rains or gets really cold. I want to make sure that I'm wearing something that's protective on the bike, especially if you're going on these long trips. I like to wear gear that looks casual so when we're off the bike and we're going to a restaurant or we're going hiking or something like that, I can wear the same outfit. So I tend to go for casual gear that I can try to wear everywhere and, you know, just bring enough underwear to last me for the weekend <laughs> and maybe an extra couple just in case. For the most part, I pack very light. When I'm traveling with Katie, that's a different story. I like to film my trips, so I'm bringing a lot of camera gear and batteries and gear, <laughs> more gear. Speaking of camera gear and gadgets and stuff, this brings me to one of my favorite things that I bring on road trips, and this is my motorcycle tank bag. And you know, I saw a lot of adventure riders use this, and I was like, that'd be cool if I could put this on my Harley. So I bought one, and I was able to strap it onto the gas tank of my lowrider, and it's one of my favorite bags. It turns into a backpack, so you know, if you're doing some off the bike adventures and you wanna bring all your valuables, just toss it in here and you're good. Turn into backpack and you're good. My other favorite part is that it has um, a hydration pack, so you fill this with water. It can save a lot of space in your saddlebags and your sissy bar bag by getting something like this and putting like your little knickknacks in there. Like, I like to keep my like multi-tool in here. Um, random tools and you know stuff to charge my gear um, a pencil I don't know why I need that but I have like batteries in here you know I have the point-and-shoot camera I have lens cleaner just all kinds of things fit in here a selfie stick hmm you put your sunglasses in here 
a big old pouch. It's nice to have the necessities on you, like your water, because you're oftentimes going gas station to gas station, taking little breaks. You obviously want to stay hydrated and have some snacks on you just in case there's an emergency and you guys might be sitting out for a while. And that has certainly happened on these road trips. This brings me into the next tip, which is expect the unexpected. You never really know what's gonna happen on a motorcycle road trip. And if you're riding with a group or you're riding by yourself and you break down or a buddy breaks down, it's nice to have some basic things to get you back on the road just in case it's a basic problem and you don't need to call a tow truck for it. I would also recommend having you know, a portable jump starter. And if you're riding in a group, as long as someone has one, that's enough for everyone. So when you're taking a long road trip, it's pretty nice to be able to go with a large group because you know different individuals can bring like key items that aren't gonna fit in any one bag. So it's kind of nice to kind of spread out the necessities also want to bring like a portable tire pump. You always want to be checking that tire pressure, especially when you're putting hundreds of miles down. Your life pretty much relies on those tires. I would also suggest just bringing the basic tools that you'll need, especially when you're doing a lot of miles. There's a lot of vibrations, things get loose. That kind of brings me into the next topic, which is make sure you secure all your luggage. You don't want to lose stuff on the road, mainly a safety hazard. If stuff falls out, it could you know, hit your buddies or it can get caught in your wheel or something like that. So make sure you secure your luggage and test it out. I like to like pack everything, you know, a couple days before, take it out on a ride, see if I'm comfortable with the weight distribution, um, go at highway speeds to make sure nothing's falling off. On my last road trip, I had a tour pack and some hard bags. I had the whole full touring setup on my soft tail, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, a lot of the screws came loose towards the end of one of our rides and I just noticed when we parked that the bags almost fell apart, the lid almost came off and thankfully none of that happened when we we're out on the road because we we're doing some pretty crazy canyons and things like that so it would have been unfortunate if like a bag fell off and you know just keep that in mind um, yeah just secure it down if you have hard bags and you know there's a lot of hardware and pieces on there I would just lock them all down put some Loctite on it, make sure everything is secure so you don't have to worry about it. And sometimes you just won't have enough room on the motorcycle, so you have to become a human saddlebag. I mean, so you can get things like this. I've never had to use this yet, but got these big pouches on here, which I think are really cool. I got this from Butcher's Apparel. They make like rave gear, and these are leather, and I thought these would be perfect plan to use these on like the next trip. Put my camera gear in there and stuff. And you know, you can have like personal bags like this. This is a leg bag. Um, you can put this on your leg like, you know, like Laura Croft or something like that. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of options out there if you're limited on space on the bike. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and some of the tips I shared in regards to packing. If you guys have any more questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to get to them. Have fun on your next motorcycle road trip and ride safe. Peace.